And in this video, we're going to take a look at how the messages are organized. First of all, on event begin play here, one of the things that happens, we have create UI messages widget and edit, ed adding it to viewport. Let's find this widget. It's a first person character UI folder, UI messages. We have three messages here. Let's take a look at this one, for example. We have text here and the bind binding for it. Go to function, cast to first person character blueprint and get a variable. Let's go to our first person character blueprint. Here we have three different variables called messages general, messages fatal and messages items. And here This is binded to display what's in the messages items variable. Here we have this pixelated font for messages fatal. And obviously the last one for the general messages. So this means that uh, the text here that will be displayed see it's text block by default uh, it's it is binded to whatever is in these variables here in our main blueprint and by default there's nothing there so even though we have this widget uh, add to edit to viewport nothing is being displayed because we have nothing in these variables and throughout uh, uh, the blueprints here and in pickups uh, blueprints we set these variables to different uh, texts so we can you see we can we can type text here and if we type it here from the beginning we will see that displayed As you can see, we have this displayed right in the center. Back to our main blueprint. And the important part is this messages. Um, and two events, clear messages general, clear messages items. The messages fatal are also added here. This timeline represents a resettable delay. So if you use a, a um, standard delay, this means that um, the event afterwards will be scheduled after that delay, no matter what. So as you can see, after this timeline, we are setting our uh, messages general to nothing and our messages fatal to nothing also. And same for messages items, we're setting to to nothing. So uh, in our, for example, taking damage logic, you can see that uh, when we get the message, the fatal messages, after we go to clear message, messages general, clear messages general here as well. So this means that, um, well, in, in case of fatal messages, it doesn't really matter because you will have that m happen only once. But um, with the general messages and items messages, it's quite different. Because, for example, when we pick up an, it an item, if we have a regular delay, then um, it will disappear after three seconds. It will not, not di th this will be set to nothing and thus disappear after three seconds. And if we get another item, during this three seconds period, it will not cancel the scheduled uh, event after those three seconds. So we get an item, we get a message, then after a second we get another item, we get another message, which will be cleared, not in three seconds, but in two. It will be, cle it will be cleared after three seconds from the first one, because the delay was not reset. 
So each time we get a, an item, we would get uh, a scheduled event. And we do not want that. We want uh, it to be rescheduled. And this timeline is a resettable delay in this case. You see, it is every time it, it has play from start. And here as well. So if we double click on it, it opens this um, uh, the timeline uh, and the length is 3 seconds. So whenever uh, this happens, play from start, it starts counting the time until it reaches 3 seconds. If it happens again, if it arrives here again, it will reset it and start counting from the beginning. So this way, in case of items for example, when we get an item, uh, this will start playing, then we get another item. This delay will start playing from zero and after three seconds we will uh, set this variable to zero to nothing and the message will be cleared uh, at an appropriate time. I hope uh, uh, this, is, this is clear. It is very important to understand the use of timelines instead of using instead of using delays where it is appropriate otherwise you will have a lot of glitches through the game and we will take a look at the at the use of timelines um, more during the review of uh, of the doors and switches and uh, i am sure that you have um, experienced these glitches in different games especially or older games like doors closing unexpectedly or lifts going uh, up or down uh, unexpectedly. This is because a, a schedule event was not rescheduled. So to recap, we have a UI added to viewport on, on begin play. Uh, the texts in the UI are binded to these variables, which are nothing uh, by default that are being changed during the game. Uh, to a certain text that gets displayed, uh, that gets picked up by the UI and displayed, and then um, we usually go to clear messages, it arrives here, resets the timeline, and uh, clears the message. And in the next video, we will take a look at our pickups.